Hi there. I wanted to do a really quick overview of one step of our character export process. This is the GIMP. We paint uh, characters in Krita and uh, use the GIMP to export the image to Blender. Krita doesn't have any sort of uh, scripting system at the moment, so that's why I'm using the GIMP. Uh, I've written a script that will take all of the layers, trim them down, and export them uh, with relative positional data so that when I uh, import uh, the layers back into Blender, um, I can reassemble the character as it is here. So what you can see is uh, I've got all of the character's parts in one file. And I also have these joint layers, which represent the bone joints that we'll have in Blender. And they all um, have a name that corresponds with the part on the character. Uh, the script will pay attention to the layer order and arrange the parts in order, uh, in depth, in order, um, the topmost will be the highest in the draw order, and the bottom here will be in the lowest draw order. What the script will do is we'll look through all these layers um, and look at the names, and it will find any layer that has, it doesn't have joint in the name, or it doesn't have a hyphen in the name, and those layers will be the parent uh, sprite in the character. Um, so it's going to um, take that name of that parent sprite, look for all of the associated sprites. Um, so this here is neck. And so it will look through and it will find here neck back. And it will uh, associate those two layers uh, in their positions in depth. So they'll both be on the same draw order even though they're a different uh, position on the layer stack. So I'm going to run the script and you'll see what it does is it trims out excess pixels um, that I may have accidentally left on the canvas that are um, only slightly transparent or sorry, slightly opaque that um, maybe I missed that were hard to see. So it's going to trim out some any excess pixels and then it will trim the layer um, to the extent of the sprite on that layer. So we'll run the script and you can see it in action. All right, there it goes. One by one, it's going to pick off the layers, expanding it, deleting the excess pixels, and then cropping the layer back down. And it's also uh, exporting the positional data right now. It's a little slow, but it's not unbearable. You can see it's working on the hidden layers as well. And almost done. And done. OK. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that this bottom here, bottom layer bounds is a layer that um, encompasses the entire image and all of the layers are, the uh, positional data is exported in relation to the bounds layer. So that's important to have. Now, the final thing I'll do here is run the save all layers option in GIMP, which will save all of the, uh, every layer as a separate PNG. So I'll run that right now, and you'll see it's pretty quick. I'll have to um, make sure I don't have rename on, and I'll say OK. Goes through and saves all of the layers as PNGs. There we go. And I will stop this video and pick up in the next step.